Why did these have to come out on the same weekend? Same release day. The One Piece is real, but this is Pokemon 151. One Piece real, 151. Mm, the Gen 1 power is pulling in too much. I'm gonna have to go with the 151. Hello, welcome back. It is 151 release weekend, and we are going to be opening up a 151 Elite Trainer box. As always with the ETB, let me just slip it out, and it comes with the set booklet. Although I have found that this time, it's actually on a very kind of flimsy paper stock, which has meant the print quality is not as good as it was when it was on the, the glossy paper stock. So that's, that's a bit of a shame. As always with ETBs, we get a set of dice and it's still just the EX dice. So there's no more set logos. So unfortunately we don't get a cool number one on the dice anymore, which kind of sucks. We have our dividers, our energy brick, a code card for all you out there, sleeves, still using that frosty sleeves, status effect counters, and our very pretty Snorlax AR promo. So pro, promo number 51 of the SVP EN block. And it is a really cool promo. I love the, the Diglett making his way up with Snorlax blocking his path. path. And <laughs> the very cute Pidgey. So really nice promo for this box, I will say. And of course, we have nine packs. It feels very weird to finally be holding these packs after the big hunt that I went on in Japan and seeing these everywhere and not being able to score anything while in Japan. So let's hope we can get some good hits today. And we're not going to guess energies because you can get hollow energies in this one. And we're gonna start the first pack off with an Ekans, followed by a Cubone, a very cool ball picks, uh, Claymation Magnemite, Daisy's Help, and of course you will maybe remember these from the card file that we opened up on the channel. There was, obviously we only opened up five and there's this adorable Shansi with his little shamrock. This is a really cool piece of art. I really like that. And we have a victory bell into a Jolteon Hollow to start us off. And unfortunately we just have a regular energy pack number two. The wrappers on these feel very um very loose so you're able to get them off really easily and we have an abra a diglet so if you're in australia oh this is really cool i like this art it's reminiscent of some old mcdonald's um set cards that there's an umbreon on the roof i think it is and also there's um yeah a lot of a lot of cards that kind of like on um residential like roofs that are really cool almost like european style so i like this one um but yeah if you're in australia and you're looking for an ETB at the moment from what I can find, I think the best bet um, price wise for you would be to hit up JB Hi-Fi. Editing Nick here. So here we have JB Hi-Fi's price for $85, but also once I get Honey out of the way, we have Kmart, which is actually $79. So you can get it cheaper at Kmart. You just have to find it in stock, which I have struggled with. It's online out of stock but maybe in your stores you can check them out. This is all also, you know, also we're having a look at uh, Mr. Toys there, which is 100 at the moment. Check out your LCS first, then go to the big box stores as always though. That's where we got this one from and we're into a Growlithe and we were very lucky to be able to pick up a couple of them for a very good price. So $85 from JB Hi-Fi versus 100 still at Mr. Toys, so. I think it's 95 at um, EB Games. So EB Games, a little bit cheaper than Mr. Toys for the moment, but I'm sure that'll probably come down. They're, they're usually pretty good with that. And we have a Ghastly, a Paris, a really cool Voltorb. Oh, big air balloon, big, big air balloon. Primeape, I don't think I've seen this one. It's must be the same artist um, that does the Mankey because it's the same style, but this is awesome. I love, I love that 
green night sky. That's really cool. Have an awesome Pharaoh. Oh, there. Reverse Geodude. And Kadabra back for the first time since one of the first sets after being sued and not being able to make Kadabra cards. And we have a Vaporeon. Oh, and there's our first Cosmo Hollow Energy. And we do have a nice little swirl in the corner just there. Hard to make out on camera because it's a psychic, which is a little bit darker, but these energies are really pretty. These are probably some of my favorite reverse hollow energies that I have I've seen so far. Let's hope we can get something more than just a reverse hollow energy. That would be a whole box with just that. Maybe a little bit disappointing. All right, going into the next one. It's the code for you. And we have Tentacool. That adorable Rattata. Oh, that squirtle is so cute. Pikachu walking through the woods. Let's transfer. <laughs> I love this style of Golbat. That's awesome. Leftovers, a very important item in the game. In the video game, that is. Raticate. A Reaching Tangler. And a Hollow File Plume. So we are almost halfway through. And we have not scored anything yet. I had heard that the hit rate on these, the hit rate on these is not fantastic. I've opened one ETB before this and it went, it went pretty well. So I'm, I'm hoping we, we can pull something out of this one. Sentru, Seal, really adorable Oddish. There are some cards in this that I think are going to be usable in the competitive game. I think Blastoise is going to be able to be splashed into some decks, um, but I'm not super sure about any others. Metapod. There we go. There's a Jin Jinx EX. So there's our first pull. Nothing super amazing, but it's a start. And I don't have this one either, so very happy about that. Alrighty, so four packs left. Let's get into this next one. I have been waiting for 151. I really enjoyed opening the Japanese cards. I'm, I'm hoping that these English ones um, continue to be lots of fun to open. Um, I'm planning on getting a specific binder for them. I, oh, I love that video. That's so cool. So yeah, I'm planning to try and complete the whole set. Um, there's not many sets that I do try to complete, but this one's not massive. So 165 for the, um, you know, the the base set and then you've got your hyper rares and everything on top of that secret rares um so there's not a sh heap of extras on top of it um oh flareon so that that's all of the oh and, and look at that uh reverse hollow fire energy to go with our fire eevee so that's all three of the um og eevee lucians that's really cool another pack And there's that Mankey that matches the, the Primate. So happy to see him come out. Meow. Execute. Dojuo. Kabuto. Gloom. Fable. Into a Kabutops. And, and the adorable Jigglypuff. And a Marowak. This is our second last pack. So we have breezed through this ETB. They are just too, they really are. The set is really just too fun to open. And um, I'm hoping to be able to open more. I'm gonna probably try and open maybe one of each of the products on the channel, um, or if the binders I'm not too sure of. Oh, I love this horsey, that's so adorable. I'm not a massive gen one person. I love all of the all of the gens really. There's some that I like less, but gen one is, you know, it's nostalgic. Oh, and there we go. Here's an AR, we have an Omanite. Oh, that's adorable. That's so cool. So there's one of their OG fossils, and that's that's Omanite. That's that's really cool. I'm glad to get that. I'm glad we managed to score an art rare on in this video. And we have a Gyarados Hollow. So really happy with that pull. On to our last pack. I'd like to know um, what's your favorite gen? I think you can tell me. You can tell me, but I think mine's number four. I think mine's Gen Four, Diamond and Pearl. I really enjoy Diamond and Pearl. They they are great games, and I, I'd love to hear from you and let me let me know what your favorite Gen is. Um, gen One is up there. 
It really is. But I think Diamond and Pearl, so Gen 4, and then Gen 2 are probably my two favorite gens. But in our last pack, we've got a Lickitung, a Doug Trio, Tentacruel, a Hitmonlee, a Persian, a Magneton, and a Moltres Hollow to end it off. Okay, so this was definitely a bit more of a subdued ETB. We got two reverse Cosmo Foil Energies, an EX Jinx, and a Omanite Art Rare. So I think the fact that the, the pull rates are meant to be a little bit tougher on this set, and that's what I've been hearing, is um, starting to, it was already rearing its head off the first product. So hopefully we can get a bit more luck on, on others. But, you know, I'm happy with this. It's pretty good. And we, of course, have the adorable promo as well. So thank you guys for watching today. Let me know what your favorite gen is in the comments, as I said, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.